Hi there folks, so in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to set up the SFML media library on Mac. And this includes the new Mac M1s on Apple Silicon. So if you go to the learn section of SFML, they've got a nice job of helping you get started in various operating systems, including Mac OS X. Now, a lot of folks will want to use Xcode. It provides a full integrated development environment and you can sort of read through the instructions here on how to get set up. In fact, I believe there are some nice templates, for example, you can use to really make creating an SFML application easy. However, sometimes you want to just be able to build from the command line the SFML library. So what I recommend is to take a moment to look at the Linux instructions, because that's how we can get set up in terms of what libraries we're going to need to use and how to do this just on the compilation. Now, the problem is, however, is we don't have a package manager like on Linux where we can just app install. That said though, we do have a tool called Brew. So here's an example of running Brew. I highly recommend you install Brew if you haven't. Brew for Mac. And you can take a look here on how to get it installed. And it's a relatively simple installation that you just type in the following command into your terminal and it will install. So once you've done that, you can search for various libraries. For example, Brew search, SFML, and we'll just give it a moment and we should find that yes, SFML does exist. Now, I've already installed it, so you see the check mark next to it, but what you'd wanna do is do a brew install SFML, and I'm gonna just let it run here. And it might update or whatever, but you'll notice that I already have SFML installed. If you don't have it installed, this will just take a few moments to install. Now. Here's the trick though, where did brew install the SFML library? So in order to figure this out, you can run brew info SFML. And this will give you information about your SFML installation that I have version 2.51, which is the latest as of this recording. And a little bit down further, you'll notice this is where it's installed, 625 files, 9.8 megabytes worth of the SFML 2.5 library. So. Let's go ahead and observe what's in this directory. So I'm just going to copy this here and see if we can take a look. And voila, you now have SML library and it's in 2.5.1 underscore one. Now, why is this important? Well, when we install or run an SML application, we need to be able to include the header files in the SML directory as well as the libraries that we're going to link to. So you can see the various versions here of each of the libraries that you'd wanna to link to. So let's go ahead and just get a hello world program up and running, and then we will uh, end this video. So what I'm gonna do is just use the Linux uh, simple SML program here, and I'm going to copy this, and let's go ahead and open in Vim, something like this, and you see I already have it here with a sample. Now this is only using the graphics library, which is fine. Uh, that'll do the trick. And how do we compile this? Well, again, if I do G++, SFML, my output, and whatever I want to call this program, maybe prog, uh, we're going to find out, again, the include libraries are missing. Okay, We need to tell the compiler where these header files are located. Where are they located again? Well, we get that from uh, brew info SFML. So let's go ahead and try this. And let's add to our uh, include path, which I'm gonna do here, this uh, directory. So it's going to be uh, slash opt, and I'll hit tab to autocomplete, homebrew, the seller where it installs files, SFML, version 2.511, and include, which is a standard way to organize your C++ header files. I'll hit enter and well, it doesn't compile, but we get some progress here. So now it's saying, well, we found these files, but we just don't know how to uh, define them. What is the actual implementation? We found that they've been declared in those header files, but well, what does circle shape actually do or clear? Well, this is where the libraries come in. We need to link those libraries in. So we do need some of the libraries here. So dash L, SFML, graphics, dash L, SFML window, dash L, SFML system. These are the typical ones. So let's go ahead and try this again if I hit enter. And uh-oh, 
still getting some errors here. It says, hey, I can't find SML graphics. Well, again, we need to tell the compiler which library folder to find those files. So again, I'm going to uh, point our linker, rather, where the libraries are. So last dash capital L, opt homebrew seller sfml 2.511. And this time it's in the lib directory. And now I'll hit enter. And we'll see no errors this time. I can run dot slash prog. And we'll get our hello uh, sfml window here. So we can play around with it. So with that in mind, I am on a new uh, Apple M1, and this also works for older Macs and should work for other Macs in the future if you've installed with Brew. Otherwise, if you've built from source and been able to compile the SFML libraries, you can point to the include directory and the appropriate uh, lib directory where these libraries, SFML graphics, window, and system exist. So hopefully this will forever help folks get set up with Mac and SFML, which is a really fun library to use. Hope this was helpful. Like and subscribe if it was, and we'll see you soon in the next video.